Welcome to my life. I was making my bed this morning thinking, gosh, how many times can I show them the same clips of me making my bed? And the reality is that you're probably only gonna see that one, two, maybe three more times maximum, and then never ever again. So I was like, no, I'm definitely gonna film it, because if I don't film it, then it's it's gonna be gone, and it's like a thing of mine whilst I've been here. So welcome to the vlog if you're new. If you're not new, I'm sure you've seen that a million times, but today is gonna be a really great day. And if you like daily vlogs, please give this a thumbs up. I'm moving so freaking soon. And I'm gonna do a week of daily vlogs. I don't know if I've said that yet, but I am. So I'm very excited. If they're the kind of things you like, give this video a like and subscribe so you get it served it in your feed. And I'm so hyped. This morning I've just done all the boring things that I need to do. I've worked out and I'm so ready for a nice warm coffee. It is freezing. I also made the mistake of sleeping with my big window open last night and I woke up so cold that all my muscles hurt. I also have arthritis, so it's really not good for my knees. <laughs> I woke up this morning, walked into the kitchen, and I was like, mum, I've made a mistake. But I think we're actually also getting the tail end of a hurricane this afternoon, so weather's not great. I'm kind of here for it right now. I'm sure I'll be sad soon, but for now it's fine. Well, that didn't really go to plan. Coffee making turned into cookie making. Let me show you these, they're on the... Uh on the baking paper, so I need to be careful. But these are some little mini vegan cookies. And then this is one of the regular cookies, but I made it extra big and undercooked it, so it will be all nice and like gooey when it cools down. But I can't say no to a cookie making session. There's one more batch in the oven. I'm just gonna wait for them to be done. And then we will go and carry on. These, I think three, maybe two, are bueno. The rest are dime. And then I did some little mini vegan ones. And, oh, they just look so good. I mean, I've had some of this big dime one. It was insane. But this is the difference. These weren't put in the fridge. Actually, these were. This wasn't. These were. So they just spread out way more. But these are like a chunkier cookie. I think I prefer them when they've been in the fridge. I'm going to have to turn the light on. It's so grey. We've got babies in the house today, so it's a little chaotic everywhere. So I've come back up to my room after being roped in. Would you believe it? I went downstairs to go and get a coffee and then ended up baking and all sorts. And it's been two hours. I was like, I have a call. I have to go. But I got a parcel through. So I thought we'd open it together. It's from Kerastars. And they are one of my absolute favorite hair brands. I use the hair oil pretty much every day, but not today because it's in my travel hair kit which is in the spare room with all my other stuff which i haven't unpacked my own fault we have the kerastars hyaluronic acid serum that's cool we have oh this is a split end serum this is amazing anti hair fall serum i think i used to have this that but i never really got into the habit of using it consistently but i really need to because i lose so much hair i know it's because i have so much hair but my hair is just absolutely everywhere yeah this stuff is so good i need to put that into high rotation but let me know does anyone else have that issue where they just seem to lose hair all the time. Ooh, this is a night serum and it's anti-dandruff. That's really cool. My hair's very puffy today. I had to double wash it because I got caught in the rain yesterday and I washed it Sunday. Then literally Monday got caught in the rain. And you know when your hair has been rained on, you it, it just it doesn't, you have to wash it. So I had to do that. I found a candle. This is the Bath and Body Works French Lavender. And it's just candle weather. I had one the other day, did not like the fragrance. So I was like, I just need to find something else. And so many of my things are packed, but I managed to find this. It was in my mom's room. Uh, don't know why it was actually in there. Well, actually a few of my candles were, don't know why, but I thought I would light it. I've also just air wrapped my hair because I'm still not used to it after having it cut. Like I'm not used to styling it. I think I've got more layers layers than I had before and I've just not had the time to kind of sit down and teach myself how to do it. I think it looks better than earlier but I think it still looks super puffy. Look what arrived. I love having my HelloFresh delivery and you know what I also love? That it comes pretty much the same time each week because I just know where it fits into my routine and I'm really trying to get back into that kind of routine, knowing what I'm doing. September for me feels like a real like reset. It feels like the start of the year again. I don't know why. Maybe it's something to do with like 
back to school when we were younger but yeah September just really feels like a fresh start so this is something that really helps me kind of keep on track with you know knowing when my groceries are coming and things like that so my meals this week are so good I got the 21 day aged rump steak and pesto sauce this is a premium meal and then I got the hot chick this is one of their craft burger meals which looks so good and then I really wanted to get one of the quick meals so this is the stove top mac and cheese it's a 20 minute meal and I've never had their mac and cheese before, so I thought that would be really good. I think we'll do that today. I just love these kind of like convenient, quick meals for lunches. If you've never heard of HelloFresh, basically everything comes pre-portioned. There is no waste. You have everything you need to create the meals at home and you can pick from different categories. So this one is one of their premium ones. And then this is under their craft burger category. And this is under their quick. They also offer things like protein rich. So it's just quite easy to kind of nail down what you're looking for, but I know the burger one's gonna be so good. I love a brioche bun. You know what, I'm actually about nine months, I think, into having HelloFresh. Pretty sure I started it at the start of the year. And it's funny because I think you, you would look at me as a person who loves to cook, loves to bake, and be like, oh, she's not the type of person to have something like that. But I have genuinely found it so convenient because yes I love to cook and yes I love to bake but it is something that I do because it's enjoyable my everyday food I find so monotonous and so boring and this has just been so good for switching that up and consistently switching it up it's going to be interesting to see when I move into my own house if this is something I continue getting because it's been a long time since I've just been cooking for kind of one or maybe two because I'm sure you know I'll have the leftovers the next day that's how I kind of like to eat yeah, like this, I always cook for my family when I have my HelloFresh at the moment. So I don't know if it's something that's going to fit into my life. I'm gonna keep guessing it because it's super easy to change the address and I'll see how I feel. I don't know. So the pasta's on and this is the recipe card that I'm following with the instructions on the back. And then in this little bit here, it tells you amounts of things you need for like two people, three people, four people of extra things. So like water, <laughs> you know, little things like that. But firstly, I have to peel and grate the garlic and then I have to grate the cheese. But for me personally, grating cheese comes under the same category as ironing, mopping the floor. What else? Just things that I can't stand, so I'm going to chop it. <laughs> Chances as if I uh, picked it on purpose on HelloFresh this week. <laughs> How was it? Yeah, not bad. And then this teacher, right? Honestly, and then do you think that was appropriate? Um, what else did he say? Oh, mm. I smile at him. I smile at him. Would you like some mac and cheese? I would love some, thank you. Do you want to get yourself a bowl out? Sure. Do you want some salad too? No. <laughs> You'll be ready in about 30 seconds and I will- you, Goodness me, you don't need to stand right next to me, child! <laughs> and here we have it, my super quick, under 20 minutes mac and cheese from HelloFresh. There's also a little side salad that I put some balsamic on. There is some chilli flakes as well, but I'm not actually a chilli flake lover, so I'm just gonna have it like this. Here is yours, my darling. Thank you! Okay, this is my favourite bit. I've never had this one. Mmm. You're gonna like that. Mm-hmm. So good, and I love it with a little bit of salad. Sophie doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I polished that off, and little miss is coming for seconds. How much do you want? One spoon, two spoons? One spoon, please. That much? Yeah. Good. Thank you. But if you do want to try it for yourself, HelloFresh have very kindly given me a discount code. I'll put the QR code on screen so you can just scan that. Or you can use the code EMILYC2023 for 60% off your first box and then 25% off for the next two months. And there are free gifts as well. So yeah, scan the QR code or I'll put all the details in the description box. But that one was very yummy. I genuinely think that might be one of my favorites we've ever done. But like one of the most simple. I've had so many 
of their pastas, but this is just very tasty. Okay, I need to tidy up and go and carry on with my work. Good morning, good morning. It's the next day because don't we all know that I can't finish a vlog in a day? It's uh, just life right now. I basically spent the rest of yesterday afternoon on calls and then went for a walk in the rain and got completely disheveled again for the second day in the row. So it's currently 10 22 a.m. I have just pulled up at Elliot Field in or Elliot's Field. I never know what it's called in rugby. And we're gonna do a little home sense shop. I'm gonna do home sense TK Maxx and MS. And what I basically need to do, well, I want to look at all the autumn decor, but I need to pull together a, li a list of things that I need for the house. So like plates, cutlery, all things like that. I have none. I mean, I have like two sets of knives and forks, two plates that I kept just, you know, for when I move in. So I have something, but the reality is I actually don't have any of that stuff. But also before I left the house, I got a little delivery from Penhaligon's that I thought we would open. This is one of their discovery sets and I don't actually know what's in here. Oh, here we go. A balm of calm. I think that's their newest one a kiss of bliss um let me open if you didn't know penhaligon's is my favorite fragrance brand i get a penhaligon fragrance every birthday well i have for the last two years it's a thing now and my favorites are cairo and babylon but i'm excited to discover their new ones oh it's got oh i love that look what do we have first i like to see what the bottles actually look like liquid love look how cute that is let's smell them all a balm of calm is one that's really like oh a kiss of bliss is gorgeous as well oh the audacity i love that they're so sassy but look how beautiful they are let me do this super quick can you hear the rain it's a real like proper autumn day today oh i like that it's completely different to anything else that i have from penhaligans it's a bit lighter a bit more granny-ish and i love a granny fragrance oh there's more wait no there's like an undertone of something coming through yeah it's rosy oh it's the ginger oh i like that balm of calm lavender oh that's very balmy how do they do that oh i like oh i like that okay this is oh the audacity oh that's not my favorite reach for the stars with pepper and orange with the base of leather and vanilla it's a bit leathery for me kiss of bliss you know what i really like that i wear quite heavy fragrances day to day and that's a bit lighter but it's still a little bit like musky oh i really like that that's such a great balance and finally vrava room Ooh, fresh radius citrus and fruits like if someone wore that i'd be like wow you smell amazing but i don't feel like it's a me thing wow penhaligans oh, they do so good oh my gosh there's been a break in the rain let's go in before i get absolutely soaked again i've been waiting for like six minutes okay i can see it starting again let's go before i get soaked Come on then. So I'm looking at all the kitchen organization, all the acrylic things for, I'm thinking in the fridge. And I love the look of these. Do you think they're gonna take up more room than it's worth? They have these stackable ones, which I mean, might be a bit better. I don't know. I definitely want something like this though, just for, I don't wanna pile things on top of each other. Look, they have these at stack. But it's things like these that I'm like, am I better just to look on Amazon? I feel like they don't have these things. I mean, these look handy, like the trays. I'll definitely do something like that. But I like the idea of having some kind of like stackable drawer. They just don't look like they're going to hold a ton, considering how big they actually are. I feel like they'll take up a lot of space. I don't know. I feel like if it was right, I'd know it was right. These are gorgeous though. Anything floral, I'm so drawn to. I don't think I actually have own gloves besides my Christmas ones that I get out like every year. I'm list making. I'm list making. <laughs> Oh, I love, but there is something weird about having a designer dog bed. I feel like it's so unnecessary, but I love the stripe. They also have a, like a, it's not really boucle, I guess it's fleecy, but it looks like boucle. Oh, see, this is really tricky because these are really nice, but I just don't want the big, like, <laughs> monogram on there. It's so unnecessary. This is nice, actually. I do need to, well, I have a bed sorted for Cody, but I want a couple around the house just so, you know, he's got places to cuddle up and feel cozy. Like, look at this so nice oh my goodness you know what if i put it if i put it on him he would actually wear it that looks way too small for him oh no imagine i can't that's so mean he's too old for that now but puppy cody would have been so down Ooh, mario badescu also they had zara home in here i need to go and see what else i can find from there they had some tea towels i'll show you these are nice i feel like these are a really good storage solution for bathrooms i actually really like this wow i mean i don't think i have anywhere to put it but so nice oh these are cute it's funny i just don't know what 
tone each room's going to be or what's going to fit in so i don't want to get anything yet but i definitely think i need to add storage baskets and like like nicer storage baskets on my to get list because i need like a blanket basket and that kind of thing oh hilarious that's such a mood look this is zara home i saw it i was like ooh, denim tea towel that's cute and then zara home no wonder i like it it's just this front one i think or is it set no it says one piece how much is it 2.99 down from 9.99 i would say that's a good find i actually think that's really nice for accessorizing throughout different seasons like that's very spring it's very autumn obviously it's a tea towel it's not that deep but when you've got them hanging over like i don't know like a handle or a cupboard it's nice to have ones that look nice look these are zara as well hmm wonder if that means there's going to be like zara things in all oh, these are cute tk maxx i love this kind of texture on a tea towel i don't want a flat tea towel i want like a textured one or it just doesn't work Ooh, what's this oh a syrup dispenser that's really cool i don't like the lid though i think that looks a bit bit weird this is one of my favorite aisles i my kilner collection is actually pretty good oh this is cute a snack on the go jar but i feel like i have so many i don't actually need to buy anymore although a lot of the ones i have are very large like these are cute look at this but i'm just the type of person that doesn't throw away anything so it's really good to have just for kind of like bits and bobs and leftovers and when i'm pickling things <laughs> and things like that because that is my life honestly i do not throw away a thing like food wise one of the things i'm also really excited to try and find for my house is a biscuit tin i mean none of these are right but yeah i'm very excited because i'm gonna have it out on display like so i want something cute and you know a bit cringe but not none of these i don't know i don't know what i'm looking for particularly yet but i want it to be really cutesy they've got some gorgeous lampshades look at these and they've got some ralph lauren ones over here which are nice but they have a pink one um they've moved half their like kitchen stuff downstairs i don't really understand it's a bit weird half it's upstairs and now half it's down here but the pink one look at this i'm very tempted and there is a pair Although that one looks a bit on the wonk, so I don't know. But look, it's the gorgeous floral print and it's gold. I don't know if it's too gold though, but how nice. I also think these are really nice. And look at this, I think that's so nice. But I do prefer, like I'm finding I prefer this kind of brushed look instead of like bright, bright gold. I actually think that's stunning. How much is it? Oh, 24.99. This is the third day in a row that I've been absolutely soaked by rain. I managed to cover my hair a little bit with my jeans. Can, I don't even know if you can see. I uh, soaked. Why? There's me like, I am so okay with autumn and weather. No, my hair's dripping. Anyway, I bought some food from Watson Spencer's. I really fancied some hummus and, oh no, and some cucumber. So I literally bought a cucumber and some hummus and I'm gonna cut it up and dip it. It is chucking it down absolutely chucking it down and i decided it was a good idea to run to my car instead of waiting i should have bought something to cut this on my question is does anybody actually like this weather because i definitely don't mm, favorite food in the world my car is soaking it was discounted i was like do i or do i just eat when i get home and then it was there was a big yellow sticker on it i was like that's the world telling me it's okay <laughs> mm, happiness in a tub yay I'd be happier if I was dry, but I am very happy right now. Okay, let's go home. I'm home and it is jogging bottom weather. I had to get those jeans off immediately. Uh, they were sodden. I also need to dry my hair or I'm going to freeze. It's so cold in here. I need to light a candle and just like blow dry myself a little bit because I'm so cold. <laughs> Literally dressing down in the daytime weather. Like it's freezing and my, like my windows closed i <laughs> i'm like shall i get in bed to finish the rest of my work i have a call in like i don't even know how long my phone's in my bag where's my bag oh over there I think in like an hour, maybe even half an hour. So I think what I might do is put my dressing gown across my legs and work. That way when I'm on the call, nobody will be able to see it. But the call's with someone that I know quite well. So even, you know what? This is one of those calls. It's purely a work thing. And the person that I'm having a call with is my management team and then someone that I'm doing a job with. And I have known her for so long that I think if I turned up in my dressing gown, she would feel comfortable enough to be like what are you doing do you know what i mean and laugh about it i don't think she'd like go off the call and be like that was so weird so unprofessional i think she'd be like emily what are you doing you know it's so it's gonna be an easy call oh i wonder if she's watching that's the real question oh i always wonder this when i talk about people in my vlogs i'm like are they gonna watch it annie are you watching <laughs> does this 
weather make anybody else absolutely starving? Like, I don't know what it is. I have eaten every single cookie we baked yesterday. All that's different is the weather and it just makes me ravenous. I don't know why, but I thought we would start pulling together the list. I obviously wrote some things down earlier when I was out, but I need to compile an actual list so I can start taking things off and finding things. And also so it prevents me buying things that I don't actually need for the house. I am going to do it on my Google Drive so I can share it with my mama. That way she can add things she thinks of. Number one, cutlery plates. I need pint glasses because I love to drink my water in a pint glass. And then I need normal glasses. I need wine glasses. Do I need champagne flutes? I feel like that's something you need in your house. What else? I need tea towels. I don't have any of those. <laughs> um, cutlery plates, bowls. You know, I also need that I would love some recommendations of. I need new pillows uh, for my bed because I feel like they're something that they have to be right. So I need four new pillows, pillowcases. I need a new mattress topper, I know that. Mm, I have plenty of mugs, that's fine. You know what I actually want to get? This isn't a need, but it's definitely on the list. I wanna get some egg cups. I love eggs and I love like dippy eggs, but I don't own an egg cup, I don't think. Actually, that's not essential. That's not essential, it's going off the list. <laughs> I love how I'm like champagne flutes are essential, but an egg cup isn't. I need coat hooks. Um, some clothes rails, because before my wardrobes get built, I need something in the room temporarily. So I need like temporary clothes rails and shoe store for just that temporary phase. Um, I'm like, what else did I see today that I know I need? Back in the kitchen section, I need fridge storage. Oh my gosh, I literally need new towels and everything. I, how? <laughs> This is suddenly really scary. Okay, I'm embarrassed to admit that on the list, I have 124 things. So what I've tried to do is pull together the things that I need over time, like, cutlery plates because I do have like a set that I can use for now but not enough to have people over or anything and then I've also got a list of things that I called for the first night so things that I'm going to need for when I move in when I haven't maybe got into boxes yet but so I know where they are so I've got like shampoo conditioner I've got a towel um a pair of scissors bin liners tape just that kind of thing and the list is extensive and I just can't believe I didn't think about this like I can't believe I mean I know why I haven't been compiling things and buying things because I'm afraid to because I feel like in my head I'm, it jinxes me moving in doesn't that's just a me thing um but yeah I literally need I don't have towels I don't have a bath mat I don't have pillows I'm gonna need a pillow for the first night <laughs> oh. you know how there hasn't been any designer bag unboxings recently this is why <laughs> no Chanel bag just tea towels and fridge storage. <laughs> hello, hello. I just finished up at the gym and I, you know what? I've really not been taking care of myself the last like three days. You know when you've just been like eating so much sugar, I've not been drinking enough water and I can really see it in my face. So I was like, you know what? This evening I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna give myself some real TLC. I took it really slow, but it was just like, you know, really nice to go. And I'm feeling, you know, I'm getting better now and I'm just gonna take some real time to reset myself tonight. I had a really good reset shower yesterday actually, but I'm about to do it all over again. So I'm gonna feel very fresh and great once this is done because my gym session was really, really good. I'm feeling incredible after that shower, but I'm gonna love you and leave you. I've gotta finish my skincare and I'm literally gonna head off to sleep because I have to be up very, very early again tomorrow morning. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be a house update. Okay, bye.